In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Canvas Commons, which is a repository of teacher-created learning objects. And what I mean by that is things that other teachers have created that are like modules or assignments or whole courses that they are sharing out kind of like an open ed resource for you to use. So you can take that and import it into your own course so you do not need to recreate the wheel. Um, so it's out there and then you can adapt any of those things that you put into your own course. So it basically just makes a copy like a Google Doc. It takes that whole, whole module or whatever you download and then makes a copy into yours and then you can adjust it as you feel fit. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can use that piece. And I think it's a very powerful tool, um, especially when if, if you might be new to Canvas and not sure how things all work. Um, it's a great way to get started without having to start from scratch. So I'm going to put myself down here in the corner. And I am now on my dashboard. So over on the left-hand side, you see my global navigation. I'm going to come down to Commons. So once I'm in Commons, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. You're basically, basically going to stay in search mode right now. If you have shared other things out to Commons, so you can then, if you're like, oh, well, this is a great lesson or something awesome, you can then share it out for other people to use as well. So if you click in that area, that's where what shared is. If you've already imported things into some of your courses, this is where they will be located. So let's say you use something for one course, and you're like, gosh, I really would like to use it for another course of mine. You can then look at it and find it in the imported area. The updated area is, or updates are if you've used something of somebody else's and they've updated theirs and put that, that update out in Commons, it will notify you in here that, hey, that they've updated theirs. Do you want to look at that update? And do you want to include that update on your course? So for example, like maybe there's a misspelling or maybe they've updated a quiz or maybe they've updated the content um, itself, then you can just take that update and use it as well. Also, if you favorite a thing, so sometimes you might just search in Commons first. You might like spend a whole couple hours or so looking in commons and you might just favorite things and be like okay i want to come back to those you can always unfavorite them but that kind of helps when you're kind of sifting down through the courses and different uh learning pieces and then you don't have the admin sites so you don't need to worry about that all right so here is where i would search just like a search engine on a topic so i'm going to type in public service announcements that's what my topic is for fourth quarter all right, so when I get to public service announcements, I see only 16 results. So that's not horrible to search through, but I can also see that there, most of them are assignments, which isn't bad, um, but maybe I want an entire module so I can look in here as well. Now you can also see in here where they have the grade span. So I can see like sixth through eighth grade. That's probably too low for my high school course. Um, I can also see how many people have downloaded it and how many people have favorited it. So that's kind of what you see, and then you also see the author who put it in to the Commons. Now, that's not horrible. I'm gonna go into US history now. When I put in US history, I'm gonna get 3,000 results. And here you see a couple different more different options. I have whole courses, which maybe that's awesome, and you just wanna use that entire course. And I see that 610 people have downloaded and 61 have have favorited it, so that might be what I want. But I can also then come over here to see this is most relevant. I can see what's most the latest ones that have been put out there. Well, that might not be what I want. What's the most favorited? So I can see 1.6 thousand people have um, downloaded this one. I can see 610 have downloaded this one, 122 have favorited that one. And that's just all this one is, is just a page. It's a home page instead of doing modules, it's doing a grid layout. Um, so you can kind of search that way. You can also look by most downloaded. So who's in, who's done it, the, put them in their own course themselves the most. Um, so I can see things that way. But I can also then go to the filter area and I can say, well, I want an entire course. I don't want just pieces of it. Maybe you do. Um, you get to decide that. So I want to just look at courses and I'm going to look for 9, 10, 11th, and 12th grade. All right, so when I come back over here, that's 428 results. So that's still a lot. So 
but maybe because I did U.S. history, so maybe I want to be more specific there. But let's say let's I want to look at this one. Let's say if I click on it, I can also then see a preview, so I can see what the entire course looks like. So if I want to see, okay, what is this? Okay, that's just kind of like an engage piece. I can go th basically you can go through the course and preview it. Some things you won't be able to see just because it might be um, something that doesn't import real well into Commons, but it will go into your course. Um, so I can see like some, some of the assignments, things like that. All right, when I'm done, I go back to search and I can find what I want. Okay, I'm going to go back to my public service announcements now. All right, and I'm going to come back over to filter. And I don't want a whole course. I just want um, modules and assignments. That's it. And I don't, that's what all mine were anyway, so 16. And I'm going to then do 9, 10, 11, 12. That takes me down to nine results. Um, so I'm going to look in here. Well, if I look at this module, really that all that is is one assignment. So that's kind of a poor use. So I do not like that one. Um, so let me look at like commercial or PSA. This is just an assignment. If I like this one, which I don't at all, I could import it. So let me find the do's and don'ts of wearing a face mask correctly and comfortably. Okay, this one might be a good one to do. So I could read th read through this. And this is let's say this is really what I want. Um, what I can then do is come over to import and download and it's going to pull up your courses that you are assigned to or aligned with and I'm going to put it in my Cub TV course and I can choose more than one. I'm, that's the only one I'm going to put it into and I'm going to go import into course. Now you can see that it's started the import. It's just going to stay like this for a little while because you doesn't really know what you want to do with it um, except it's already in your course. So if I come back over to my dashboard now, because mine was an assignment and not a module, it's not going to just show up here. If it's a module that you have put in, the modules will go to the bottom of your other modules that you have put in. So then you can then adjust them or move things around however you see fit. If it's a course that you've imported, it's going to just take it and put it at the bottom of your modules too. Like it's going to take the entire course and put it in. Now, if it had a different home page, you're going to go to the home page of what it what you've imported as well. All right, so let's say I want to put this in to week three of mine. So I'm going to go then, I remembered it was an assignment that I put in. So I'm going to go to plus assignment and I'm going to look in here. Okay, there's my imported assignment. The imported assignments are usually at the bottom as well. So if I click on that and I add the item, it is now in my course. All right, so that is how you can use commons. Um, I'm going to publish this one because I really don't want that one in there. But again, quick review on this in here. Something you can totally use. Definitely filter down to what you're looking for. Maybe you're just looking for videos that align with whatever you're talking about. So maybe I'm working on multiplying fractions. On videos and it's saying there's nothing on multiplying fractions. So let's just try fractions. And they're just a real quick short one so I can watch it and I can import it. Um, definitely definitely a powerful tool when you're starting in Canvas itself and not familiar with how to find things real easily but Commons is definitely a tool that I would suggest using.